everybody, it's uh, Eugene Lishua here, and today I'm going to talk to you about Cloud Compare. Now, if you're working with 3D technologies like laser scanners, photogrammetry, or structured light scanners, you've probably heard of Cloud Compare. So if you haven't, uh, you probably will eventually. Uh, Cloud Compare is an open source program. It's made freely available and it does a ton of stuff with 3D models like point clouds and meshes. So for example, you could do things like editing your models, you can filter them, you could register them or align them together, and you can even compare them. So if you have a point cloud and a point cloud, or you have a point cloud and a mesh, you can put them together and then look at a type of heat map uh, or a color map, and then uh, it will tell you sort of what the differences or the similarities are. There's versions for this in Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is really fantastic. So it covers a broad range of people, and it has a ton of plugins, like little tools and little things that you can use. It even has a viewer. So if you work in a project and you wanted to send it to somebody just for viewing, um, you can package it in the viewer, and then they can uh, just you know turn it around and look at it with all, all the different buttons and stuff like that. So it's a really simple way to hand a model over to somebody else. So importing and exporting may sound like they're just very trivial things, but Cloud Compare has a ton of options for saving uh, models and that sort of thing. And if you look just down at this list, you'll see that you know there's the different types of uh, uh, ASCII formats, uh, E57, which is really common, and even some other formats uh, that you can work with, which is fantastic. Um, you can even do other things. So for example, um, if you have a, uh, a mesh, so what I had on my screen right now with the car is a, um, a point cloud, but I'm gonna go to this meshed object and I'll show you that it is in fact a mesh just by clicking here. If you get in, you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of these little uh, patches here. Well, I can take that and I can actually turn that into a point cloud. So uh, I can do that very quickly here. And uh, you'll see now when I look at this and I get close that it's actually just a bunch of points, which is fantastic. So, um, you know, you may want to use a point cloud to join with another point cloud or something like that. But these are some of the really basic things you can do, which are super useful. There's also a number of things you can do in terms of measurements and uh, recording positions and that sort of thing. So one is if you know if you're just interested in a coordinate or that sort of thing, you can always pick off a bunch of information for any particular point, and you can also take measurements. So if I just you know pick two points, um, you know or between two objects or whatever, you get a distance and and that sort of thing, and you can record and save all of these as well. Uh, you can do angular measurements, and um, there's a ton of information that you can pull out of Cloud Compare in terms of uh, measurement information. Editing scans is also really important and sometimes just being able to segment out or crop something out of a point cloud can be really helpful. Uh, you know, maybe in this case I just want a car or something like that and so I can cut things out and um, you know do some different things and there are different tools that can help you to segment and to delete parts of a point cloud that you don't need whatever it might be there's tons of tools in here for editing point clouds some sampling is really cool because it takes a really really dense point cloud and then what it does is reduces the points and there's different ways to reduce the points either based on spacing or random sampling uh, or that sort of thing so if you're working with a point cloud and program and it's really heavy and you want to lighten it up Cloud Compare is a great program for reducing the overall or total number of points. And so here you'll see that I have a new point cloud here. If I go in and look at this point spacing, you'll see what that looks like. If I go back to the original, you'll see that it's much denser. And so there's things you can do with point clouds to help lighten the load and make it easier to work in other programs. So there are different ways to align point clouds together and some are very manual, some are using point picking, and some are for very fine registration or very fine alignment between point clouds. And um, once you get them together, you can also do a deviation analysis. So you can take two sets of point clouds or a point cloud and a mesh and then determine a, um, a deviation analysis, which will tell you how similar or how different they are. And so in the example that I have here, you can see that the colored areas like the, uh, the yellows and reds and that sort of thing, uh, that's 
where there are greater differences between point clouds. And so this uh, cloud to cloud or uh, cloud to mesh deviation analysis can be super, super useful when you're checking to see how flat something might be or if something is moved uh, over time. A great, great tool in cloud compare. Ambient occlusion is another great tool. And when you have a model that doesn't have a lot of color or it's just no color at all. For example, here on my screen, I've got something where it's part of a skull and you just really can't see anything. Well, when you run the ambient occlusion, uh, it allows for a false kind of lighting. And so what you see is there's a lot more details that pop out of your model. This is great in cases where the color isn't all that great or you haven't captured color at all, but there's some geometry that you want to pick up or that you want to look at. is an animation plugin that you can get in Cloud Compare. So it's super useful if you want to create animations or fly throughs of your point clouds. And it just means you create a bunch of viewpoints, you put them together. And this is something that is a great value in Cloud Compare.